And retired Marine Colonel Oliver North will soon lead the National Rifle Association as its new president later this month. One America's John Hines spoke to North about the battle to protect gun rights and his plans for the NRA. After Parkland, after Santa Fe High, and after the Pulse nightclub shootings, storm clouds may be lingering over the National Rifle Association. That may be why then, at its recent convention, it announced a new president who is literally a warrior, a former Reagan-era national security aide and Marine colonel who earned his silver star in combat in Vietnam. The reason they sought me out was because, A, I know how to fight, B, I've got experience in the in, in a large uh, 501c3, not as large as NRA, and uh, I've got a lot of connections to our military. I've spent the better part of two decades keeping company with them in the, in the battlefields that have gone on since 9-11-01. So my purpose is to get as many of them back into this organization. I'm encouraging every single NRA member to go out and find another one. Find another one or two, says retired Marine Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North, who is the new president-elect of the NRA, and who says his goal is to double the record 6 million strong NRA membership roster to 12 million, partly by tapping his military connections and reminding people of the military history of the organization itself. My principal focus right now uh, is to get as many new members as we possibly can. Uh, the NRA is a... a a civil rights institution in our country, the oldest in fact, goes back to 1871, founded by military officers. And so the original intent of the National Rifle Association, as it was formed in, in New York, was to ensure that there, was there were people enough who had knowledge of the safe handling and accuracy of firearms. And second, something we're much engaged in nowadays, to defend the Second Amendment. Defending that Constitution is something that North knows about. Having taken an oath to defend the Constitution of the United States starting in 1961 and doing so every year since, says North, who has now retired from Fox News, where he was a commentator and host of War Stories with Oliver North, a series of military history documentaries. It's a noble undertaking, what we have in the NRA. This is, this is an organization that's committed to the safety of the American people, protecting our Constitution, and defending those civil liberties that we hold dear. It's as simple as that. My hope is that, that what folks will look at in, in this broadcast is a call, if you will, call to duty. I know what that's about. This is a call to duty for the American people. A call to duty, says North, possibly because the NRA has rarely, if ever, faced such an onslaught of opposition. Something we'll talk about in the second part of our exclusive interview with NRA President-elect Oliver North. John Hines, One America News, Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.